They told us about the Muriel civilization. The necessary info so far. We do not really know their origin, the purpose. They stayed for millions of years here. They built uh, roads all over the world that converge to Hatanaba. Roads above ground and highly sophisticated underground tunnels. Some of these tunnels we found a few years ago in the occasion of one of our expeditions to a star fort in the middle of the Amazon forest called Príncipe da Beira, which is supposed to be, supposed to be a Portuguese fort, sure, built in the, what, in the 16th uh, century, 17th century, in the middle of the forest, no, the middle of nowhere, of course, and it's a star fort. Nobody knew about these underground galleries. We have material here, photographs, films, I'm going to show you so, some of these uh, images. Nobody knew it. And we, helped, we had the assistance of the Brazilian military. The Brazilian army had a lo local garrison there, and they helped us, you know. And they didn't know about these tunnels. And we found there hundreds of artifacts. And I'm not talking about clay uh, vases or, you know, clay objects. I'm talking about highly sophisticated metal artifacts. More than 2,000 artifacts were found. Unfortunately, during those times, Brazil was ruled by a leftist globalist government led by the corrupt Lula that is cherished abroad, of course, because it's one of the globalist pawns. Again, guys, we are apolitical, but we got to denounce, you know, who these crooks are, you know, who the, who the pawns of the globalists are. He's one of them. He's trying to come back now because it is a danger to the status quo, all these discoveries. And Bolsonaro is the type of president that would, you know, encourage such endeavors, you know, because he's looking for, you know, the real truth. He's beginning to realize that there's something in the Amazon, very important. He's been telling people, you know, about the Amazon, the importance of the Amazon, not only the mi about minerals, about, you know, gold, about riches, you know, the, bio, the Amazon's biodiversity. He's aware of it. And he's not a globalist pawn. Therefore, he would not hinder, his government would not hinder, you know, all this, our efforts to, to show the population, what's going on and what's in there, in the Amazon, to reveal, therefore to reveal uh, Hatanaba to the world. When I say Hatanaba, it's not only the city, it's the whole complex. It's a huge, huge, huge area. And around the, 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 the Hatanaba complex, we can also find Anunnaki ruins. We are also going to show that the Anunnakis, they occupied the perimeter of Hatanaba, of course, 450,000 years ago, much recent, much more recent. The Muriel civilization is still a, a mystery to us. Why? Because we know that they are linked to the 49 dimensional races. We know that because they tell us all the time. All this information we got from them. But as, as the MO of the 49, they always tell us, go out and do the research. They don't spoon feed the information. They make us work. They make us go out there and, you know, and look for it. That's how you learn. You know? That's, they want us to walk with our own feet. You know? They're just sort of helping us. And uh, we have asked many times the partners, 
How advanced are they? Well, they just say they are highly advanced. You're going to see it when you reach Hatanaba. There you're going to find incredible technology, intact artifacts, intact flying machines, and wow. other things that the partners tell us that will allow us to, to change the status quo, the, the, to change how we live, we will be able to use this technology to improve, to give comfort to humanity, to protect humanity, to provide abundance to humanity. When we say abundance, we're not talking about financially. Okay, we're also talking about a financial abundance, okay, but we're also talking about health. We are also talking about happiness, real purpose. This is abundance, you know. Wow. Why? Because people are going to finally wake up from this crazy nightmare that we've been living in and seems an endless nightmare. And that's why the partners have been telling us lately there is a light in the end of the tunnel. Really, mm -hmm. Just hold on. There's a light, and Ratanaba is going to be that. Because all these technologies can will be will be able we will be able to use them with the population. We will be able to pass it on this technology to the population because they are 3D technology in the sense that they are physical, adapted to our density, even though they are the fruit, the result of technologies that are not from this world but they are adapted here to this world. For instance, the 49, for instance, one of the ships, the spaceships of the 49, ah, can we use it here for us? No, because the density is different. You see what I mean? So their technology can be employed here and in various fields, huh? various fields, health, energy, finance, I don't know how, we'll be able to sort of to, to, to provide the tools so that we can have a real equality, you know, finance, in technology, in health, you know, in many, many aspects. So this is a threat to the powers that be because they do not have our best interest at heart. They do not. See, people think that governments that all these international institutions are there to help us. They've been living in a fantasy, you know, in, in Disney World, because it doesn't exist. They are, not, they are here to manipulate us, to control us. And all this information, all these technologies, all this that's coming out of Hatamara, that's going to come out of Hatanaba, you know, 